In this video, I'm going to show you how to make a Polish star Christmas ornament. Really effective, really easy. You simply make it with some paper, really inexpensive. So I'm Christine of Christine's Crafts and this channel is dedicated to crafting on a budget. So what are you going to need to make one of these? Well, the first thing you're going to need are some paper circles. You're going to need 10 of them and you can make them any size you like, but the one I've made is four inches diameter and you can make them out of any paper. Copier paper is what I've used and works really well. You're going to need some glue. I recommend tacky glue, even though you can't read the label on mine. You're going to need a pencil. Now use an old one because you're going to get it covered in glue. It does make a bit of a mess. You're also going to need some string, twine or embroidery thread like I've used to hang your Polish star. You're going to need a needle for that embroidery thread. And you're going to need two small beads or tiny buttons. And they're just to secure your Polish star. So it really doesn't matter which you use. So take one of your circles and fold it in half and then fold it in half again and what you're doing here is finding the center of your circle so if you made your circles using compasses you'll already know where the center is and then you need to take something about one inch diameter here in the UK I've used a 10 pence coin and you're going to draw around it in the center of the circle don't get too worried when it's not exactly precisely in the middle. So long as it's approximately OK, you'll be fine. Then you need to take your scissors and cut from the outside edge to that centre circle. And you're going to do it along each of the folds you made. So you're cutting these quarter sections of your circle. Once you've cut those, you want to cut again halfway between each one. Now you could have marked those by folding your circle again. I don't bother, I just cut them like this. And I'm sure you're going to realise you could cut more than one circle at a time. Because obviously the next thing I'm going to say is repeat that for the other nine. Once you've got them all cut, take one of your circles and apply some glue along one edge of one section. Take your pencil, place it point towards the outside of the circle at the opposite corner of that section and then wrap the paper around it. Can be a little bit fiddly and you just get better and better the more you do. And believe me, you're going to do plenty. So wrap it round until the glue wraps round and it's secure. And you've got a nice point and then twist your pencil and pull it backwards to take it out. And that's one of your points formed. So then take your glue and repeat that on the next one round. Place it along one side. Take the point of the pencil to the opposite side of the section with the point to pointing towards the outside edge of the circle and wrap it round. See, this one's decided it didn't want to wrap. You just keep poking it in. It'll go and get that nice tight point on the end. And then it'll wrap beautifully. Make sure it's secured down. Remove any glue that might have escaped. And then twist that pencil out. And keep going. So you're going to repeat that for all the sections of your circle until you've got all eight points. Once you've completed all eight, just leave it to dry and repeat the process for all of the other circles. So in total, you'll have 10 of these when you're finished and you can start assembling them. So get your thread onto your needle and then thread it through one of your beads. Once you've got your bead threaded on there, you're going to form a knot around the bead, a little loop with a knot so that it doesn't pull through. Just make sure it's nice and secure and then you can always trim off some extra thread. How long your thread is is up to you. 
and I make sure mine's plenty long enough and then I can always cut it down later if I want to make the loop smaller that I'm going to hang it up with. So once your bead's secure, we're going to thread it on the first one of these. Now you'll see I've turned it over and I'm going to come from that side, from the bottom there, right through the center and pull it right through until the bead is against the paper edge like that. Turn it over, place it down on your table, get another one of your circles and this time you're going to go the opposite way through it. So you're going to go from the top through. So now these two are facing each other effectively. And then you're going to repeat for the other eight and you're going to keep them all the same way. Only the first one was the other way up. Now you'll see me messing about with the thread here, making sure it's not wrapped around any of the points and it's not going to make a problem later. Your thread needs to be running up straight through them all with no problems. So just keep stacking them on until they're all there. Once they're all on, you need to get the other bead or button and thread that on. And that's when the magic can happen. If you now pull that thread, you will get your Polish star. But you need to keep it like that. So for me, I found the best way to do that is to take the needle and thread it through the bead again. But remember, it's got to be in the same direction as the first time you threaded it. And it just allows you then to when you pull it tight, it will stay there a lot better. And that's your Polish star. So all that's left to do is to form your hanging loop with your twine, thread, whatever you've used. And then you can hang it up and it's all finished. So you'll see I'm just going to knot mine down inside there so that it won't be seen. And then you can hang it wherever you like. Obviously, this is the moment to adjust the length and make it exactly the length you want. And then go and make as many as you like. You can dip them in glitter, you can decorate them, you can use coloured paper. The sky's the limit. So thank you for watching and I hope you've enjoyed this video. Good luck with your Polish star. If you've enjoyed the video, please give me a thumbs up below. And if you're looking for more great craft ideas without spending too much money, then take a look at the rest of my channel and subscribe to see what I put out every week. Thank you.